welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing great. So let's take a look at these earbuds. These are the Earphone Free Pros. They're a pair of wireless earbuds that I purchased off of Amazon for approximately $60. In this video, I'm gonna do more of a review of these earbuds and give you guys my opinion of it and tell you whether or not they're truly worth it at their price point. So let's get right to it. All right, right off the bat, let's just get the specs out of the way. So these earbuds have a combined play time of up to 32 hours. The wireless charging case itself has a combined play time of 25 hours and the earbuds themselves have seven hours which if you think about it is actually really great for this price point. On top of these, these earbuds also have an IPX5 water rating, which is great for getting little splashes of water on the earbuds themselves. But obviously you can't submerge these in full water because if you do, they will be damaged. And it's also great for working out at the gym because it is also sweat resistant. So if your ears get a little bit sweaty, then it will be able to withstand those little patches of sweat. And I also want to mention that the charging case that the earbuds come with have USB-C charging. So it is convenient if you want to charge it with your phone charger or they can also charge wirelessly with a cheap wireless charger so you do have that option all right next I'm gonna be showing you guys a sample microphone quality test this is a microphone quality test using the earphone free pros you guys let me know how it sounds in the comments below but basically this is in a relatively quiet environment it's from my bedroom you're not gonna see or hear rather any other sound in the background uh, but again yeah this is in a relatively quiet environment in the comment section below let me know how they sound Okay, next, I'm gonna go over some of the pros and cons that these earbuds have and let you guys know what I think of them. All right, so when it comes to the pros, right off the bat, I just wanna say that the bass quality on these is pretty top-notch. Like, it is pretty comparable to the high-end earbuds, or at least the earbuds that are in the $130 range, like the Galaxy Buds Plus and whatnot. The earbuds deliver really rich, powerful bass that you can actually feel when you're listening to music that's really bass-heavy. On top of this, another pro that I really like about these earbuds is the number of touch control options that you have that you can customize. There's actually a lot of touch control options available, so much so that it could actually get overwhelming at times, but the major ones include having the ability to play music, pause music, skipping to the next track, you know, controlling your volume levels, answering phone calls with the touch control pad, and triggering the voice assistant, Google Assistant if you're on Android, or Siri if you're on an iPhone. Another pro that I liked about these earbuds is the fact that right out of the box you get a bunch of ear tips included, which is great if you have like different sizes of ears and you know one ear tip might not be able to fit your ear properly so yeah you have a multitude of ear tips available at your disposal and, you know i just want to reiterate that you're getting great battery life for the price point 32 hours of combined play time as well as an ipx5 water rating which is probably not available in a lot of other earbuds at this price point okay now i want to go over some of the things that i don't like so much about these earbuds for one thing anc is available on these earbuds but it's just for the name like there's literally no difference between anc and normal mode so at most most, it is pretty mediocre. On top of this, the charging case that the earbuds come with also feels a little bit cheap and plasticky. But then again, I can't really complain at this price point, so that's not a deal breaker. Next con I want to talk about has to do with the sound quality. So don't get me wrong, the sound quality on these earbuds is actually really great. The bass is amazing, it is pretty high, it is really rich in sound. But while the bass is pretty high and rich in sound, the actual sound quality, like when it comes to the vocals and the dialogue, it feels like it's very one-sided if I had to put a word on it. It doesn't give me this immersive sound experience that I want or that I get with a lot of other earbuds. The last con for these earbuds is the fact that they don't have any app support, so you can't go into a custom app to customize, you know, equalizer settings and whatnot. But I do want to mention that if you have an Android phone, you do have the option of going into the settings and you know depending on which android phone you use you can go into like dolby atmos and customize the equalizer settings through your phone but that's only available for android not iphone so this begs the questions are these earbuds definitely worth it for the price point the simple answer is yes Definitely. For the price that you're paying, approximately $60, you're getting a host of features that definitely aren't available on other earbuds at this same price point. Features like multiple touch controls for the touch pads, IPX5 water rating, as well as a wireless charging are amazing features that you don't get on a lot of other earbuds for the same price point. And not to mention the amazing battery life that you're getting with these earbuds, which is barely even present at premium earbuds. But you know, features like ANC, custom app setting to customize the EQ settings, as well as an immersive sound experience are really lacking on this but nonetheless if you're a user who's looking for a really good pair of reliable you know cheap wireless earbuds then these are definitely worth checking out either way thank you for making it to the end of the video i appreciate it and if you guys want to see more content like this then definitely subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one take care